Hello travellers, welcome back to the Lovely Planet channel. As we all know that London is the place where something new and creative is coming out daily. This is the area of England that has many interesting stops to visit. In this video, I'm going to tell you all the things you can do in London and places that you can go and visit there. Make sure you like this video and watch it until the very end to get to know some very attractive things you can do there. The London Eye Your trip to London will feel incomplete if you don't visit the London Eye. The London Eye is originally a huge ferris wheel that offers you a delightful view across the city. The ferris wheel has 32 air-conditioned capsules that can carry 800 people for each rotation. The visitors can see up to 40 kilometers in all directions from the ferris wheel. River Thames is just below the London Eye that is famous for the lunch and dinner cruises. It gives a great way to enjoy the meals while having the iconic sights of the city. You can also enjoy the high-speed speedboat rides to experience the top attractions of London in a fast-forward way. Parks of London Hyde Park has the honor of being the largest park in London. It covers approximately 350 acres of land and has been a favorite spot for tourists since 1635. There is a man-made lake, Serpentine, that is famous for boating and swimming. You should explore another beautiful green area called Regent's Park that is a delight to the eyes. It is just a short walk away from Westminster. One of the most famous places you can see in London is Big Ben's Four-Faced Clock Tower. It is set in a 23-feet frame and it has become one of the iconic and reliable clock. It is located in the Palace of Westminster, a government area near Buckingham Palace. Also, there is Westminster Abbey Church at its surrounding area as the most notable religious building in the United Kingdom. It is the place where all coronations of English and British monarchs have occurred, including 16 royal weddings. Do visit it and who knows, maybe you'll find your prince or princess that you are long waited. Another mesmerizing park is Richmond Park that has approximately 650 wild deer. That makes it very attractive. Dulwich Park covers 72 acres and it has a boating lake to the woodland walks. There is a Dulwich village on the north side of the park which is worth visiting to see the original buildings made in the 18th and 19th centuries. The Tower of London The Tower of London changed from a prison to a palace and from a treasure vault to a private zoo. This spot has served London with its magnificent roles down the centuries. An exhibition named Crown Jewels Exhibition takes place in the tower that shows the jewel that the kings and queens had on their crowns, jewelry and robes 600 years ago. You can meet the Beef Eaters, who are the symbol of London and Britain. They will tell you the stories about imprisonment, execution and torture that happened in the tower 1,000 years ago. You can come here anytime, but you should book tickets online in summer because the tickets come at a low price and help avoid the crowd. St. Paul's Cathedral Without any doubt, you can say that St. Paul's Cathedral is one of the most iconic and spectacular cathedrals in the world. The twin Baroque towers and 365-foot dome make it a magnificent showpiece of the architecture. The stairs will give you some amazing views of the interior side of the dome. The Whispering Gallery makes it even more attractive to visit. Mark this cathedral on your list and visit to get some beautiful views. Art Galleries There are many spots in London for art lovers. They can visit many galleries that feature classic and contemporary art. One of the famous galleries is the National Gallery in Trafalgar Square. 
It has amazing and famous art pieces made by famous artists including Da Vinci, Turner, Van Gogh and Rembrandt on the display. You can also go to Tate Modern, that is on the South Bank. The lovers of art will find work pieces by famous artists including Picasso, Klee and Delaney. Royal Academy of Arts is the place that kept the culture, trip and art alive in London. The summer exhibition here shows everything about the art of emerging artists today. Whitechapel Gallery is free and it is open throughout the year. This gallery does not only support the art exhibition, but many education programs take place here. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the bell icon for more information and updates. Museums Lots of people visit London to get to know about its culture. If you're one of them, you can visit several museums for free. The National History Museum is the one where you can find ancient fossils and stuffed animals including a dodo replica. In the British Museum, there are 8 million objects, out of which 50,000 are on the display. The museum shows the artifacts of world heritage, including the Rosetta Stone and the Parthenon sculptures. Include Science Museum in your trip plan. You do not have to learn about physics and chemistry. There are many shiny machines you can play with, unbelievable inventions and a real-life Boeing 747 jumbo jet to watch. Hampton Court Palace This palace is one of the most famous places to visit in Europe. There are many things to explore here. This palace has the huge surviving 6th century kitchens on the planet. The kitchen was used to feed 800 people staying here. The Tudor Flats of the palace shows some monumental work. No doubt that the Hampton Court has beautiful artistic endeavours. There is also a chamber with a ceiling having some magnificent latticework of gilt interspersed with colourful leather-based matches. The place is also famous for having 60 acres of beautiful gardens. There is the world's oldest puzzle maze in the garden having grapevine, three national plant collections and a variety of wildlife. Warner Brothers Studio The most surprising and exciting place to visit in London is the Warner Brothers Studio. This studio is famous for making the Harry Potter movies. Here you can find the breathtaking sets of the movie, the beautifully crafted and created props, and lots of costumes that will make you feel like you're in the movie. This is one of the biggest sources of attention for the people who visit London. Some amazing eateries. Every city has something different to serve when it comes to food. I visited London and got to see some amazing eateries there. From some cheap eating places to fancy restaurants. You can find everything here. Andu Cafe, Anima e Koro, Adi's Thai, Bibimbap and Bleecker are the places where you can get food in the range of 6 to 12 pounds. If you are looking for a fancy place to eat, you can go to Momo Restaurant, The Quillon, The Wilmington, Gothia Soho, Sartoria, Tamarind and The Ivy. You will get every kind of food here with some lavish environment. Buckingham Palace A royal walking tour to Buckingham Palace will also entertain you when you go to London. This palace is home to the royal families since 1837. There are 775 rooms and a huge private garden in this palace. Well, the good part is that there are some areas of the palace that are open for visitors. The visitors can see and experience the royal lifestyle while having a tour here. You can see some historic traditions and discipline of royal guards while you visit. The state rooms are also part of the visit that leads the visitors to some excellent and marvellous royal collection. The collection includes paintings, furniture and sculptures. 
hope you all enjoyed the video. Looks like London is a must place to visit. So, what are you waiting for? Go pack your bags and book the tickets. I'll be back with another video soon. Till then, enjoy your trip to London.